In today's tutorial, you will be able to create a character creator where the player is able to just choose several hats, faces, and bird colors, and you can adapt it to your own character creator. If you like videos like this, just leave a like, and if you want to support me, just follow the channel, and let's go. We start with creating a new scene. This one will be a user interface. So we take a control node here. We just stretch it just like over the screen like this one. And we make it up to this following scene tree. But you don't need to have to do it the same way. It's just the way how I would build it. You can build it however you want. But the functionality in the end will be the same. I'll take a margin container as a border. Inside this margin container, I'll put an hbox container. And inside this hbox container, this one I'll set to ring center in both vertical and horizontal alignment. And here I'll put in vbox container. And in this vbox container, I'll put in hbox container. And in this hbox container, we put a label. Now we put a button. Now we need two buttons. On this label, we make a hat. This button, we just put this one, this arrow. This button we put this arrow and this part we just duplicate three times as it has three different types of what the player can customize. So we have the head, the face and the shirt. That everything is straight, just mark the labels and we just say expand. So all of them is in a line. Now we'll just rename the buttons for later. This one is head back, head forward and so on. And next thing what we do is we mark all these buttons. We click right click and say access as unique name. That we can just use call it directly with this person sign and then the name of this button and we don't need to write the whole tree scene pass to this button so we just have to write this name with the person sign so it's a bit easier to program it later underneath is a start button so we just copy paste it again we delete this one and we just say start button and here we just say start and to make it look better we just say expand here full width so this has the same size like the rest and beside this one we also need to see how the current character looks like so here in the hbox container we just add a child which is a control node this one and here we will just put inside texture rights. One first, we'll put, for example, just the body inside this one. The most important thing is we have to say texture here at the right. We click new atlas texture and just here we will put this one inside. We can choose that we just want, for example, this view. We say with 16, 8, 32 and 0, 0. So we just have the left side, so the left view of this frog. Keep centered and fit width. And we just copy paste it four times delete all of this one and we add them new to for the face hat and shirt that it will be not too small we just set the size to scale three and then we have here the view of the character and here the buttons to change the look alike so that all of this will work now we just add a script here or start screen and gd we rename this control node here, called also start screen, and we also save it as a scene. We need nine functions, which most of the time are just functions which will be called when we click buttons here. And we start with the ready function, where we just say connect signals. So when this one is loading, that the signals are loaded. So function connect signals. And now we just need to got all our buttons from here to connect them with the function what we want to do there. So we take this one, this one, this one, this one. We also need to say access as unique. We mark all of them. You can do that with control and left click. And then you just put them here and then you have a shortcut of them. And we just make it all underneath. The same, you can just click control shift and move with the mouse buttons. And you can see here that you can write in multiple lines at the same time. So dot connect we say pressed and now we just need to create functions they will have unique names so from here on we'll write every line one by one at back at forward face back as forward at back start forward and start game now we need to create them at the back as this here we connect the signals from whenever the buttons will be clicked 
here from the player to this function and that this one will be called whatever the player wants to do with clicking on the button. In our case, it will just one head type to the next one and then to the next one, same for the shirt and for the face. So here we write inside the following code. Oh, we have head back, head forward. We'll do them in the same time. Global data, current head equals brackets, global data dot current head minus one person sign. This is important global data dot hats array dot size what does this person sign do it just just take care of that this number what we add to or what we delete from the current number so for example we have the first thing of an array and then we just want to go backwards but there is nothing to the left anymore we have to go to the last one of the array this one just take care of that we will not be lower than zero or higher than the size of the array next thing is percent at this one also mark all of them all the tech directs here right click access as unique percent hat dot texture dot atlas important as you remember we just have this atlas texture here and we don't want to switch this with another picture we want to change this atlas of this texture so we say texture this one we go inside this texture so it's an atlas type and here we just want to change the atlas so we say dot atlas equals global data dot hats array brackets and we say global data dot current hat so that's actually it for this one here we can write the exact same thing forward the only thing what we need to change is that we switch this one to a plus sign and that we will do for face and shirt um for phase two and for shirt we do it with colors but this i'll explain later for the for the shirt it will be very similar besides that we don't want to change the texture we just want to change the color so as we have right now just a white shirt we can just color it by changing down here in visibility the modulate or the self modulate i prefer to use self modulate because this will be just on this node modulate will also cause changes to the child nodes self modulate and when i change this one to yellow for example this shirt to turn be yellow here now it's red and now it's completely black so you can just change it to some colors and this way we self modulate so we say percent shirt dot set self modulate it's expecting us to put a color here now and this color we just got from global data dot shirt color array and the brackets global data dot current or current chart let's say current chart so it's easier to understand and this same thing we just need to write here too i'll just check here this one is wrong global data dot current shirt equals global data dot current shirt minus one global data dot shirt color array dot size and we just can copy and paste it to the forward function the only thing what we need to change is to increase the number by one not decrease and now we just only need a function which will start the game so we say start game and we say get tree dot change scene to file resource world dot tscn and that's it for the whole scene what we need to do here but it won't work yet because the data we just calling here is not existing yet so we go to our global data script and we have to add the following variables and the following functions the first variable is hats array array equals empty brackets variable faces array array equals brackets variable shirt color array also an array equals this one i just prepared a few sample colors so we have like white this one should be like blue dark purple and also a red i think and the next things what we need is the current int so current hat, current face, current shirt, int equals zero. Always define the position of the array. So zero is the first one. In an array, we start with zero. Then this one is one, two, three. And with the buttons, we just force this one to increase or decrease by one number. And when it's about to be lower than zero, it will just start to be the last number of the array. For example, this one would be minus one, the current shirt. Then it will just automatically change to three. 
and so on. Because the person sign forces our buttons to just create numbers which are positive. So the next thing is we don't fill this one with data yet. Here we just create a ready function to fill it with data. So we send this function, we say get data leads to void. And now we just need to iterate that this will work properly and later on will be modulated and you can use it for as many pictures as you want. You need to prepare for each type, for example, face, head or shirt. You create a folder and this folder you will fill with all your shirt types, with all your head types. I have three different hats. I have three different faces. And yeah, now we need to fill this arrays with all PNGs we have here. And this we do this way for file in resource loader dot list directory and then we say resource slash slash player faces then we say if file dot contains dot import then we just say continue why do we do this we do that for avoid that import files which you don't see here but you will see them in your folder you can see here that there are also pngs but also pngs.import these files we don't want to be in our array so we just continue the for loop when we see this otherwise when it doesn't contain continue it is a file which we want to have in our array we just say basis array dot append and then we say load resource slash slash layer faces plus file as a file here it defines always string of the name of this file we just can use it here to create our um, load um, important player faces slash and then plus file and with the same thing we also do for the faces so we just copy paste this for loop which is also here inside this get data function we just need to change a few words here we have to say player hats as this folder is named player hats and here we also change it to player hats and then we are already good to go so the global data is finished and when we start the start screen scene or we click just i just had a mistake here hats array dot append important we need to write rest then this dots and then slash slash player hat slash and then when we press here, we just can change the heads here, the faces here and the shirt color here. And then we can start the scene with this type of rock. We just need to adjust a few things, but this is all about the character creator. So we just go to project settings, run, and we have to go to scene here at project, project settings and change the main scene to start screen. So there are the few things what we still need to change. The first thing what we need to do is the global data is defined here before. This is what we need to change. So we just could delete all the passes and we just define them later on within the game. So we go to the world scene plus and we say world. So the world gets a script from us. Funk init init is even before ready so important that we call the inbuilt function init and we say global data dot world equals set. we copy this one we go to player and we do the exact same thing we say global data dot player equals self and save it and we also go to our ui so here in score we say init global data dot world score ui and say self this is important later on for that everything is loaded correctly because we have this scene change because if we would do that the other way and we start the game it won't work because it can't calculate the life because in the moment when we start the game the global data is already loaded now and at this point, the global data world player and score UI will still be zero because in the scene tree, when the global data is loaded, this won't work yet because we can't go one step back to the world because it's not existing. So it will just keep to be zero. So we have to define it when they are there, that everything is still working properly. And now we want that the player also can play with the new lookalike. First of all, we change the scene tree plus note to the i always keep a note to the and use it as a group we make it as a direct child and we call it texture group and then we just put the body inside we duplicate the body four times one time for the head one time for the shirt and one time for the face and we just put the head 
at the most bottom because then it will be above every other node. So and as you can see here, the animations are broke. This is what we need to repair now. So first of all, we repair the reset. As we just changed the size of our sprites from beforehand, I need to adjust the positioning, the body, this one. This one is right. Idle is also right. I'll just put some placeholder, shirt, head, and face. This one, for example. This body will be body. Here we have to say zero so that everything is at the right spot. So idle is true. And we need to add for each shirt face head also this tracks the frame and the position. We just go to edit, copy tracks. We'll mark both, copy, and we paste them and we paste them again and we paste them again the only thing what we need to do now is we just need to rename the path to it so rather than body we say shirt for example and we did that twice for each type so for shirt face and head so now it's working properly for idle and now we have to do it the same way for left right and so on and here you can see here this is not true so we also need to change the position here to 0, minus 4, 0, and minus 4. So that is working. And you can see here just the players jumping, but not the rest of the body. So we do the same. And we have walk right properly. The next thing what we need to do is changing the sprite when the player is ready so that we add this one here set textures so that we also use the textures the player was choosing in the start screen set textures void um yes we call it directly in ready here we also mark this one this one and this one right click it and access as unique in scene tree and we say percent start is the shirt dot self modulate as you remember here we just changed the color with code so we say global data dot shirt color array so we just call this one shirt color array and we just want to got the current int the player was setting before put it here in global data dot current shirt and then we just set the self modulate we'll do it just like we did before in the brackets so we have it the same everywhere and we do it the same for face dot texture equals and global data dot faces array and global data current face next is percent head dot texture equals global data dot heads array brackets global data dot print head save and when we did everything all right and we start the scene now we can change everything here to vision head angry face and maybe a red shirt and we start the scene we have this magician now in our scene and we can play as a magician rock if you like this tutorial and it helps you to create a character creator, then just leave a like and a comment if you have any further questions to this character creator. If you want to support me and my work, you can also leave a subscription so you will not miss any more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hopefully see you again in the next video.